talk internet speed. Suddenlink versus Vexus. I see this a lot on Facebook, which one is better? And you always get people that work for the company that say this one's better, or if they have it, they say this one's better. Well, we're gonna do a test because today I actually have both of these at my house. And I wanna know which one gets me the most speed no matter where I am. So the one gigabyte, and this is the fastest they offer, is $96 through Suddenlink and it's no contract. Uh, the exact same one through Vexus is $94, one gigabyte, no contract. This is the fastest they offer in my area. Router size, um, the router with Suddenlink is a little bit bigger. You can tell <laughs> it's actually a lot bigger, but it's a pretty normal size router. It has a USB port in the front. It's got three, four ethernet connections in the back with a coaxial cable. I mean, this thing is good for direct connect if you wanna got a couple Xboxes or a couple devices that need a real nice computer that you need connected all the time and can't really depend on a wireless connection. Uh, this is a pretty good one to have. Um, it's pretty dusty up here. I need to clean, I know. Um, but the uh, Vexus router is tiny. This little guy's little, so I don't really see how it can really pack a lot of power, if that makes any sense, because um, it's so tiny. But it has one port on the back, so not the best for a direct connect, but they give you another one, so you can actually have three direct connects. So it's it's pretty similar, actually, even though it's one-fourth the size. So I'm basically going to stand right in front of these routers and I'm going to run a test, a speed test through Speakeasy and this isn't by Suddenlink or Vexus. They have their own speed test but if you run those they always work good with their companies. And um, so Suddenlink has two. They got regular and 5G. Uh, the 5G is always faster in my opinion on Vexus, I mean uh, Suddenlink, so that's the one I always use if I'm at the house. Try to get on 5G, um, but right now as you can tell, uh, the download winner was actually Suddenlink, the 5G won 462, but Vexus was right behind them. And then Upload, those numbers are correct. Uh, upload Vexus just, just killed it, their upload speed is ridiculous. So standing in front of the router, Suddenlink 5G actually won that one by about 30 megabytes. Now we're going to head outside. There's going to be about two or three walls now and some distance. So we're going to see how this router does. And yeah, I live in West Texas, so everything's dirty. So we've got a couple walls. We've got a little bit of distance, but I still want to have the fastest internet I can no matter where I am. And right now it's telling me that Vexus is at 180. 5G sudden link is about 90 and then like I said the upload speed nothing Vexus just kills it and uh, the difference between the upload speed and download speed is basically download you're downloading something from the internet to your computer upload is basically you're making a video and then you're uploading it to the internet so that's one way to look at that uh, download winner Vexus won this one and they won the upload as well and like I said this is outside this is the farthest I got away from the router to test it out I did multiple tests and they're all very, very, very similar. I just needed to know for myself and I thought I would share this video and maybe it would help some people that are kind of debating on if they should get Vexus or Suddenlink or if they should stay with one or the other because uh, I do know uh, they seem to kind of go up on price every year. Uh, so right now I went upstairs. I'm pretty much above the router, but there's a big thick, you know, floor in the way so I'm gonna see how the speed is up here. Um, Vexus is clocking in at 240. Suddenlink is a little over 200 so I mean that that's still great internet. I mean that's that's great internet. Uh, the upload like I said Vexus just I don't know how they do it but Vexus just has it. Um, and a little a little on this for me so far since I've had Vexus I mean it's been pretty straightforward i've had it a couple years before and now i got it again um i didn't get it anymore because they had a contract and i don't like contracts but now they don't have contracts so i'm excited about vexus um and i always love sudden link they were my number one internet company no matter what um but basically download speed is like i said before what you download um, from the internet to your computer upload is from the computer to the internet this kind of gives you an idea of how much speed you need. So you only need like 25 megabytes to, to stream Netflix and stuff. 
but when five people are streaming at the same time, you're going to lean a little bit higher. Game systems uh, only need about 30 megabytes, but it's kind of the same thing. Um, if more people are playing at one time, you're probably going to need a little bit higher speeds. And uh, like I said, this is just a breakdown. I don't prefer Suddenlink over Vexus or anything like that. I just want whatever's fastest for me, no matter where I am. And if I'm going to pay the same amount of money for both, I want to make sure I'm getting better internet. And Vexus wins hands down in both categories, upload and download. Didn't seem to matter where I was in the house or outside the house. As long as I was in some kind of Wi-Fi range, Vexus beat Sudden Link all day. So just my opinion. Uh, but if you're on the fence about which one to use, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Um, but that's about it. Thanks.